Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our pre- previous episode, our adventures were exploring the empty city of Somersdale. There, there was some inter-team conflict, and the group ended up finding a wolf, which they're trying to tame. And everyone is back together now. They are all around the wolf, petting it, having tea with it, doing trust falls with it. And so what is everyone up to right now? Oh, you're playing with a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make it like us. I, I'm, I'm talking soothingly. I'm saying, shh, you're with friends now, sweet, sweet wolf. And I stroke its head gently. Shh, okay. there, there, wolf, shh, friends, yes. <laughs> it is <clears throat> beginning to be happy with you guys. I'm just kind of sitting up to the side, sharpening my knife. Stop freaking it out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just go and lean against the wall. Rest. Okay. Um, I went to return that uh, (laughs) money to that shop. Yeah, you are back now, unless you want to go anywhere else while you were in that area. No, I'm just going to keep an eye out for anything, or maybe anyone. Okay. Walk in my... Yeah, you don't find anyone, and you end up coming back to the team. All right. Oh, you found us? (laughs) Nice. Uh, Is there anywhere else that anyone wants to go, or anything anyone wants to do right now? Uh, Maybe we should go to the castle. Team Alpha Wolf yes. Squadron. My yeah, there's no plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's probably time we go check out that place. It would be a good idea. Uh, we were supposed to meet up with the king anyway, so we might as well see. Perhaps he's there, uh, locked in a room somewhere or something. Mm. Uh, who knows? It's it's probably best we check than not to check. Why? Why do you have a wolf? Oh, we found this good little guy. <laughs> well, we kidnapped this little guy. Um, the point is, um, he's going to be with us now. Okay, I. Who's a good wolfy wolfy? <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. Um. <laughs> Stockholm. Mm. Uh, how about Stockholm Lovecraft? <laughs> <laughs> Fancy name. No. Or Evan. Evan <laughs> okay, how about Evan Lovecraft? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you know. <coughs> your wolf man, your call, I guess. Yeah, I don't really care. No, no, that. I said earlier this is the team wolf. I don't. I, except you're the only one that wants it. I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> okay, fine. Your name is now Stockholm Evan Lovecraft. <laughs> 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 Who's a good boy, Stockholm Ev- Evan Lovecraft? It kind of pricks up its ears. <laughs> <laughs> like they're himself. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it took me a minute. <laughs> I got there. Uh, his nick. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I, I undo the snare, okay. but I do put make a leash for him because I don't want to run away just yet. Okay. I want to make sure he trusts me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he he is trusting you guys right now. Okay. So you're headed to the castle. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so you follow one of the main roads through the city to uh, through a few like city gates or like between a few like guard towers, which are empty, of course. And you make your way across a small moat into towards the castle, and you are at its front gates. And when you try the door, it is unlocked. And you're able to walk in. This is all around the castle. There are beautiful statues just all around, kind of looking out towards the city. And as you walk, the castle itself has a lot of gold plating design all around it, as well as some, like, beautiful... Tapestries hanging, you see a huge flag of the city flying from the middle of the castle. And, uh, as you walk in, uh, the hallways, they have like a marble floor, the walls are all decorated. And also on the marble floor, there's like a really lav- lavish looking, uh, carpet on top of it that's like red with some golden tassels. Hmm. So my character is going to be visibly uncomfortable and not trust anything the whole time. Okay. Or is there anything of note that I would uh, probably know about the king? Uh, the king here is... You've heard that he is a really good king. He's been in office for uh, most of his life, actually, and before it was his father. Uh, and you've heard good things about him. Uh, you do know that he has a son and a daughter. And they're all of elven descent. 
the, this, because this is the biggest city in Caledonia, you know that there's been a lot of income and that the king is pretty wealthy, but he distributes the wealth a lot within the city too. Um, was that the kind of stuff you're thinking of knowing or? Uh, well, no, that's good like to know. Of... I just want to know a little more about him. So like, would I expect him to be like, what, like what's well known trait? Is he like a coward? Is he super brave? Would uh, he have been like one of the first people to fight back or would we find him like hiding out in his castle? No, he would be one of the first people to fight back. Okay. So, uh, Probably going to tell the group that our chances of finding him are probably small yeah. because he would have been involved some way. He's not really a hands-off kind of guy, mm-hmm. I guess, kind of thing. So uh, don't get your hopes up, but yeah. Yeah, so as you travel through this hallway, you see a sign for different rooms. There's one, uh, one of the signs points to the left and it says treasure chest room. So it's full of just chests like the rooms that you saw earlier in the other two castles. Uh, there's one to the throne room, and then there's a sign to the uh, guest rooms, the king's bedchambers, as well as the the dining room, kitchen, and like a multi-use room. So like where the king would hold council sometimes and hold events and stuff like that. I'm gonna go sit uh, on the throne in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and just lounge in it. Okay. Yeah, uh, you go to the throne room, and it, it's a decently large room. There's also... There are a few, a few windows you can see out of as well, and there's the main throne, which is really lavish-looking. has a huge... has a really comfy cushion. When mm-hmm. you sit on it, it's, you're like... <sighs> Perfection. <laughs> Uh, and then there, are, there's also a smaller seat next to it for the queen, and then a, few, a couple of seats on other side, the other sides too, for like the prince and princess. Wonderful. You did not see anyone in this room, though. Uh, what about everyone else? So Lazarus, Lazarus is going to be kind of scouting around, seeing what he can find, anything out of place, anything peculiar. We just also be going to keep a close eye on the. Uh, Okay. Uh, My character is super suspicious, and he's (laughs) blaming you for everything that's going down. (laughs) I'm gonna inspect the king's quarters. Okay. Uh, So first for Lazarus, Uh, the only thing kind of out of place, but not really, would be that the uh, the keep, like where a lot of like the money and treasures and great magic items and pretty much just a treasure hoard would be. Is locked with like multiple locks as well as what do you assume would be uh, pretty powerful magic? And you don't hear any sounds of any movement or anything past the door. This does not seem to be a robbery. Everyone's just up and disappeared. And then Blaze, you're going to the uh, king's quarters. Yeah. <clears throat> so as you enter this room, there's a king-sized bed with. Uh, Tapestry surrounding it, I guess. Not, I guess not tapestry, but like, you know how. Yeah, like a four poster bed with the curtains. Yeah, it. like yeah. curtains all around. Okay. It. Uh, the bed is made. There's not really any mess in the room. Like, you would assume that the king probably keeps everything clean. Uh, you see a few draw like there are a few, there's a dresser with a few drawers, a big closet, a <clears throat> writing desk where he does a lot of his work, and a wardrobe as well. Can I do an insight check? Maybe I can... Is there anything of notice? Or important? Uh, that would be investigation, I guess. Investigation? Yeah. Okay. Or perception. Uh, both are plus four, so I don't want to use that die. Oh, fuck. That one. That one. Uh, you think this is about the same that any king would have. Any, like, any king who's, like, keeps it clean. Okay, uh, I'll leave them. If okay. that's what I rolled, then I have no reason to be there. Uh, and either of you want to do anything? Nothing in particular. Yeah, I just kind of want to look around. Like, I don't know if, see if there's anything out of place. Like, there's something really particular. You gotta, you gotta check the chest room. Yeah, we gotta get into that locked room somehow. Uh, I mean, that's a different room. So that the oh. locked room was the keep, okay. which is basically the storeroom. Mm. 
Uh, I'll make my way back to the or group. important. And I'll mention, uh, that, so, he wasn't in his room. Uh, I don't think he's here. That was like a last, last kind of ditch effort, you know. Uh, anywhere else you guys thought? Maybe we could, uh, sneak into the old chess room. Maybe we'll find something cool. Or the storeroom. We might as well. I'm like, really, uh, can I go into theft, but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop pouring shit next to the mic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so happy. Cage can cut it out. <laughs> you know I won't cut it out. <laughs> this is on you. The audience now hates you. <laughs> it's good. Just a little bit of ASMR. Yeah. I'm now going to pour the coffee. <laughs> uh, so you're going to the chess room? Yeah, sure. Okay, so you follow the sign and go through a door. And above the door, there's a sign with the, that with the chest on it. And as you go through to the door, you see tons of chests, and I'd say about 50% of them all look the same. They're all the same size. Mm -hmm. They all look exactly the same as the chests that the King of Silsby brought to you and the King of Branches brought to you. But there are also a few special chests that are, like, laid with gold and, like, special designs. A few that are, like, pure white in color with some gold trim. And also, there are some really, really old-looking chests, like, probably from hundreds of years ago, if not longer. Okay. Um, first Ooh. things first, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. See yeah. if anything is magical. Um, I know. You do notice that one of the chests in this... No, I, I'd say probably, like, four of the chests in this room are magic. And you would assume that the magic is to... Well, for... Three of the chests, the magic is to keep it locked. Uh, and then for the other two chests, it would be magic in, 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 in the chest to make it, uh, as if it were a bag of holding, but as a chest. Oh, interesting. Um, interesting. the first chest that I would like to investigate is the really, really old one. Okay. Um, it just seems like if you're gonna, have something of historical value would be in an old chest, right? So I'm gonna walk up to that one. Uh, as you investigate any of these chests, you don't actually find anything in them. Yeah. It's just a room for chests. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. I clever. thought it'd be interesting that they had signs leading to the treasure. <laughs> Pulled a fast one on us. <laughs> so they're all empty? Yes. You got punks! <clears throat> uh, the only thing you find in one of the chests is it's a red hairy chest. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, not even in the cool white one with gold trim? No. Alright. Find another smaller chest. <laughs> in a small? Yeah, there's one chest where if you look inside, there's another chest. And then when you look inside that, and there's another chest. And then another chest. Then another chest. Until you get to a chest that's only like about five centimeters by, if, uh, seven centimeters by seven centimeters about. No, there's also a red herring. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tiny little one. Uh, I'm going to leave. Uh, uh, in a small fit of rage, I push one of the chests over. <laughs> it gives a satisfying thunk. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go to the locked door. Yeah, then. let's go investigate this big magical locked door. And I'll pull out my cat's claw. And I'll pick it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there is a powerful magic keeping it locked. As well as, like, three other locks. Do we have... Blaze, you checked out the king's chambers, correct? Yeah, it was pretty empty. Did you find any keys by, by chance? I saw nothing. Let's go check. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a fair idea to me. I'm going to check the throne for some keys, you know. <laughs> some people keep their keys in their bedside. Some people put them in their fridge. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he's going to put this one on his throne. I turned to Farron and I say, Do you uh, have an idea what kind of magic this would be? Cool magic. Alright, uh, one moment. I'm gonna stand up and make my way to the door and do a nice arcana check on it. Okay. Nice With advantage. Match. Yeah. Do I get it? Because you have the yeah, necklace on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stolen mm. stole it, baby. Okay. 13? Nice. Uh, you believe that this magic is beyond your. You know what, that it's a spell? I don't know what spell right now because I can't think of it, but. Simple spell, but why don't break it? Nice. 
Uh, you believe that it's uh, not within your, any of your power to unlock. Alright, friends. Part of it anyway. This barrier that seems to be coating the door is quite some magic. It's definitely above my skill level to um, remove. We're going to need something a lot more powerful or take more time to study it. And with magic. that kind of check, you do know that you do recognize that magic doesn't disrupt sound or anything, so if there were sounds on the other side, you would be hearing them. I'll take a listen to see if I can hear any sounds. You don't hear anything. There's no... Uh, no movement or no anything inside that room. Well, you I assume that it that it's just locked so that people can't steal gold, because that gold would be for the mm -hmm. uh, city itself. So I could put together this might be a vault. Yeah. Right. So maybe they're hiding in there. No, no, there's no sounds on the other side. Um, I can guess that. So how would they lock the door from the outside? Magic! <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Due to the strength of magic of this door, and how does it look built, the door itself? It's a real, it's a really old door, so it's probably been here since the city was created. But it does look like it is, like, a powerful door, and there's the reason why it's been standing for all these years. Okay. Uh, due to the powerful magic, and by looking at the straits of this door, I assume that this might be the vault that holds the city's funds. That's my best guess. All right, well, no need for us to get inside of it then. Is that all? I will be going back to my throne. I mean, throne. Otherwise, <laughs> uh, perhaps we should just knock. <laughs> sure, maybe the gold plants. So I know if this <laughs> speak if you friend touch this and door, enter, causing harm. Men, you will. assume nothing will happen. <laughs> Yeah, so you knock, and there's no answer. Eh, kind of saw that one coming. I go back to the throne. <laughs> Damn. I suppose there's no reason to stay. Where else should we search? I mean, we're kind of grasping at straws here. Well, how can we find out what happened here? That's what I'm asking. Let's search some houses. Let's search some houses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll to see if we can figure out some good houses. Should we look at it? <laughs> oh, I rolled it. Oh, that one. This guy sucks. So, uh, you guys are checking out some houses or other buildings. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we should split up. Uh, so, <laughs> Daphne, you're with me. <laughs> Fred, you perv. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you uh, leave the castle and check out a few houses. Uh, in the first couple, you don't really find anything in them, but in, uh, after a few houses, you do see one that has, uh, red ink, or, uh, no, uh, you find a note with red ink on it, and it is, it seems to be written really hastily. Uh, it reads, I don't know who or what they are, but they are here. Please save, and it ends there. Why can't and anyone finish a fucking <laughs> sentence in this area? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> and then in another house, you, in one house you find, like, what looks to be, like, a prophecy, prophecy see, seer's house. So you see, like, a, a magic orb in, I mean, or really a crystal ball on one table, and you also see a note kind of hidden, but eventually, eventually found, found it. It says, I've sent my son away. His name is Aaron Stone Soul. If anyone reads this, please help him out. He'll be in the forest. I fear I won't see him again. May Lathandry guide you. And then, uh, in another house, uh, you find, you find, just written on the wall in big letters, the Fardana. And then, uh, there's one more house where you find something, and, uh, it reads, They came from the sea. They are taking over. Please beware. I want to go to that orb. We see if I can the wolves. activate it. Maybe I can find information in it. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll oh, follow him. Uh, can I see a character sheet? I just need to look at the skills. I'd say either roll, yeah, roll insight 
to see if you know how to use it. Okay. <clears throat> oh god. That's uh, a seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not you're not exactly sure how to use it, but you feel that with enough fiddling around that you might be able to see something. I'll continue to take some time to see if I can work it out. Okay. Uh, eventually something does happen, and you see an image on it. Uh, it's an image of a large man with kind of blue tinged skin, and he has a small red dragon on his shoulder. He has long uh, silver hair hanging, hanging down, and then that image is replaced with <coughs> a bunch of huge ships, like ships the size of which you've never seen before. So, a large man, blue tinged skin. Yeah. Um, long silver hair. Long silver hair. And this is just a picture, right? We see a picture. Red dragon, like an actual red dragon, oh. not, a, not a tattoo. <laughs> so, so what is this again? Sorry, this is like a picture? Nice. Yeah, it's a picture in a, like, crystal ball or orb. Uh, can I roll a history check when I know who this person is? From, like, myths or legends or anything? Uh, or is he, is he kind of like a random dude? You... Without doing a history check, you have never seen anyone like this or heard of anyone like this. You even know, like, I do not trust this man. You do not recognize <laughs> I do not trust this, this door. Like, do they're trust taller, this taller and bulkier than most humans or most elves or even, like, a maybe around the same size of a, a furbolg or farbolg. I don't know how to pro- pronounce it, okay. but it doesn't look like one of them. Hmm. That's a, like a giant. Yeah, yeah. This man looks like a worthy foe. Something tells me this crystal ball would not show us this man if he wasn't important. What was written on that wall? In the hook? Uh, the Shardana. He seems like somebody worth killing. <laughs> <laughs> he he seems, looks like he deserves to die. Seems like someone was staying away from him. To be honest, coward. <laughs> You should run at your phones. We'll see. And you said they came from the sea. Yeah. I prefer not to have foes at all, if I can. You need to face your fears. Got and there's written in red, red ink. Yeah. <laughs> I will do red my best walls. to keep that in mind. And we found this at the... This picture, this man in the crystal ball in the... Like psychic prophecy house. seekers house. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's like pretty much all... That you have noticed in the houses. Alright. That's the vessels. Um, oh, uh. In the crystal ball, there was one more image after it showed the ships. And that was. of a dark underground cave that's really deep underground. And you, Blaze, recognize this. You believe this is the depths. Ah, uh, I believe. This man has come from the depths. It's, uh, it's, uh, basically it's a second layer beneath our normal plane. Uh, it's very deep, deep underground, hence the name of the depths. Uh, it's not really easy to access, uh, and not a lot of people know about it. Uh, <laughs> just picture it like, oh, right now we're on the surface. I got a fast underneath pass. is the ground, <laughs> and underneath that is the depths. That sounds quite terrifying, actually. I've never been, personally. Uh, I heard it's not exactly a pleasant place, but... Uh, like very deep words. Like where does like like and um, drow come from? Yeah, some bigger mm-hmm. drow and some deep gnomes, gnomes are known to live <laughs> in some areas in the depths. Too bad we didn't... We have those deep gnomes again. We could have talked to them about it. Well, it's a good thing we have a drow in our party. Yeah, but I'm not from there. It's it could have been from there. No. Well, not me personally. It's weird having a drow that's actually good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justice for all. It's an all for none. <laughs> if you want, we could. I know someone who could help us out here. If you want to go there. I don't think we should talk to K- hey. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, who, Just, uh, who's this person? His name is Torian. Or Sna- Beast Snack. Torian, right? Yeah, Beast. Yeah. His name is Beast Snack. Beast Snack. Beast Snack. Beast. Beast Snack. Beast Snack. Uh, he's to the north. Uh, you believe that he? 
You last saw him a while ago in Stillsby. Uh, so he would either be probably in Stillsby or maybe Mall or Chun. Yeah, so north of where we are, though, right? North or west. Okay. Just basically the entire continent. We should go. <laughs> Amazing. We should go to Mall first. Well, we've been to Stillsby and I didn't see him. You but also were supposed to, you were supposed to report back the kind of a yeah. branch as what you're finding too. So we should we should do that. Um, so our only yeah. clue is a blue skinned man with silver hair and a red dragon. They came from the sea. Um, sh- the Shardana. Everyone is missing. We have an image of the depths, and we know that they use powerful transportation magic. They also have huge vessels. I and that there was a battle in the town square. Wherever it was, I believe like some else. powerful magic. As an attack was used there. You don't think it was a lot of magic mm-hmm. attacks, but you believe there is at least one. Yeah. Uh, Blaze, maybe you should, uh, make a, a painting so we can keep track of what this guy looks like. That's actually not a bad idea. Sure, you're Somebody not gonna set it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> I too could paint. No, you can't. I can. You can paint. <laughs> I'm proficient in. I will paint a beautiful <laughs> picture of the man in the... Pic- Both of you paint, and we'll see who's is better. I'll take out my notebook, <laughs> and I will paint. The loser's will, painting its burnt. I will burnt. Also, uh, <laughs> bring out my uh, painting supplies, and I will also paint the man. You're on a time limit. Okay, so each of you just roll a per- performance check. Performance? Yep. I rolled 17. Okay, nice. Six. <laughs> yeah, so Blaze's uh, painting is <laughs> like a quite a lot <laughs> like the figure you saw. Like, he got the silvery hair just right, and uh, he got the dragon on his shoulder. Tony kind of forgot it, or uh, Elrondal forgot about the dragon on his shoulder, and gave him, like, dark hair instead by accident. Um... You just can't be scared of mixing colors. You have to be able. To, you can't be scared. All right, smooth, long, smooth strokes. Okay. I, I got it. Happy little accidents. <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy little accidents. Yeah. Here's a happy little tree. <laughs> I used to have a friend. His name was Rob Boss. Uh, Tony's rendition. <laughs> exactly. No, mine was better than no. no. <laughs> So better than painting a dead kid, am I right? <laughs> That's a beautiful, tragic scene that you fucking ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Uh, right? I ruined him. <laughs> One smooth stroke. It was my idea. Though. Okay, so you know. we know depths. We know Shardana. We know they came via sea. Teleportation magic. Pet red dragon. Creepy dude with blue hair and silver hair. Blue skin and silver hair. What happened to Ali? Oh yeah, she's uh, on a boat. I guess she's just stay, staying with the ship. Okay. She's kind of freaked out. By I this. don't blame her. Hopefully, she's still there. When what a wuss! Jeez. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do in any of these houses, or any of the stores, or really anything in this city? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go steal more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have a lead um, now. I would love to get out of this place. I wouldn't mind swimming by the blacksmith shop. Okay. You have no one to. I'll make from. my way back to the boat. Okay, I will too. I've done everything I need to do. You're going to the blacksmith? Yep. Okay, uh, you go there, it is called, uh, Smith and Smith's Blacksmithing Incorporated. Cool. Okay, I, I go inside and I check to see if, um, Smith and Black's blacksmith. Sure, if. Just see if anybody's still there. Like, I don't really expect there to be. Yeah, you don't find anyone there. Alright. Well. All the tools are as where you would assume they would be, and there's a sword still like on the working bench, it's mm-hmm. not hot, the coals aren't hot or anything. Mm-hmm. Alright, well I didn't expect anything other than that, but I just needed to confirm, so okay. I'll just head back to the boat then. Okay. Uh, so are you guys departing? Uh, Ali will agree to you, and she's, she looks really nervous, and... She tells you she would like to get out of here as soon as possible. I just Don't worry. Of, it doesn't I, seem like anyone's dead. Just missing. <laughs> I just bored exhausted. Okay. Uh, and she asks you, where are you wanting to go? At branches. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go back to branches right now then. Mm-hmm. And she'll quickly untie the ship, put up pull up the anchor, voice number eight. Nice. And you guys will <laughs> set sail. I think it's best to avoid any ships on the way back. No more stops. Things are getting 
urgent. Peculiar. <laughs> and the last thing we need is to be vanished somewhere. Stranger things are happening right now. You could call this stranger thing. <laughs> no, I don't think season two will. Season three. I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, on your way back, you just noticed the same ships that you Ooh, saw before. The one that's, like, burned Except out. for the one that burnt down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and... Do we pass by the frozen dolphin? <laughs> it's just... Not, you it's not fine. See any frozen it's dolphin. just a statue. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, just bobbing along the surface. It's actually a really uneventful ride. You see a couple other ships that are abandoned, but you assume that they probably came in with waves a while back. And unless there's something you guys want to do on your way there... No more stops, Allie. Resting, kind okay. of resting. No more stops, Allie. Take us back um, to Branches. I'm gonna you... practice my painting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to repaint that guy. <laughs> and you guys would be able to have a long rest during this period. Okay. And you're almost to a Branches. Like, it, you can see it. It's probably about, uh, five kilometers away. And then, everyone do a perception check. Oh no. <laughs> What is going on? I got oh, a no. 20. Dirty 20. That makes sense. Ah, uh, 9. I got a 6. Uh, 15. 18. Okay, so, uh, Ailerindal and Blaze. Yeah? Uh, you see immediately five ships appear out of nowhere, and they are larger ships than you have ever seen before. No way. You see Legs flying above them of a flag design you've never seen before. It's of a man walking out of the sea as a wave like uh, falls above him. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Damn it! That's what I meant. Uh, then you hear from the lead ship a boisterous voice yelling. You will yield, or you will face the wrath of the Shardana. Well, let's turn around. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> They're not facing us. We're watching them invade uh, Avranches right yeah. now. Uh, what's the flag book again, sorry? Uh, it is of a man walking like the in the sea, and a wave is crashing over its mm-hmm. head. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And you've noticed that they have lots of big cannons on the ship, too, and they're aimed at the city. Ali, uh, uh, let's stop here. Uh, <laughs> we're totally fucked <laughs> if we go near those ships. Uh, and then you hear, because uh, they're using magic on their voices, you also hear the Lord of the Branches. You hear his voice yell out, The city of the Branches yields to no one. And then you hear the attacker yell out, It will be your death! What a badass. And then three cannons fire from each ship, and they fire huge cannonballs at the city, and deal massive damage to it. So, the city have Or, been. actually, wait, I'm gonna retcon that. Uh, then, wait, no, actually, never mind. Okay. That, <laughs> no, fine. Whoa, so. he retconned his retcon <laughs> so fucking meta. Um, <laughs> so I say. And, and then, uh, about a minute later, you see, uh, you, you see a portal open up in the center of the city, and a portal on each of the five ships. Mm. And then you see, uh, or, okay, wait, sorry, I messed that up. Another redcon! Uh, you see 30 soldiers from one of the ships appear in the city. And, uh, you do see the main guy, you do see a kind of more buff, taller guy in the center of the city. You can't make out too many details, you do see that he has kind of blue-tinged skin, and, uh, you can probably see that the, they're attacking guards, and guards are attacking them, and it does not go in the guards' way. I want to help, but I don't want to die. Should, what, so, what should we do? Coward. Uh, I see Onwards. you get close. I take a handful of my marbles. <laughs> oh. And I just chuck them. And it'll hit them. 
Hey, you're, so you're like five you commerce. Throw. And we'll win the no, campaign, okay. and we can all go home. Okay. Good game, guys. <laughs> as long as... Even if he's flashbanked, that's still... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can do anything. We have no hope of Trans- opening. There's only five of us. And then you do actually, you're kind of able to see what you assume is the king of the branches. He's been taken by one of the soldiers. We, and he's been brought to like the main courtyard. We need to help. Oh no. Oh, do we though? This Public execution. <laughs> We're and outnumbered. We can't win. Ass- you assume that he's about to be executed because, from what you know of him, he does he doesn't back down. Uh, Look, there's no way we can get does, there in time. We must try though. Does my quartz of teleportation only teleport me or multiple people? Uh, just you. Okay, guys. <laughs> no! I, have, I, have, I have I have an idea. Um, I'm gonna use my quartz of teleportation to teleport myself uh, to the king. This is a... Dude, you're gonna die! <laughs> it's his death wish. I'm not gonna, <laughs> gonna use it. Uh, I think just the once. You know you're gonna be once very ever. outnumbered once you, you get there, right? You gotta teleport yourself into the middle of a battlefield without an escape route. Look, Aaron The king Del. needs our help! Aaron and them, look, you gotta think about this rationally. You're one man against an army. What I'm can gonna you try possibly and, uh, do? I'm one man worth an army. <laughs> so. I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna try and nick the quartz from them, because I don't want to see my friend die. <laughs> I rolled a sleight of hand, so 14. Uh, should I go against that? Uh, sure. Yeah. With what? Just. Uh. Probably deck saving. Deck throw. saving throw. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes things happen. Sure. You can't uh, save everyone. That's a dirty 20. Yeah, he's not able to take it. Arundel, don't go! This I is not, not gonna go well! I need this. to do something worth, uh,. Justifying to my parents. You're gonna get yourself killed. Listen, that sounded really. Anyone. This sounded really deep and really character building important. But you're gonna die. <laughs> we. You won't be able I will do any good if you're dead. If you, you stay with us, we'll make it right. Entire army. You have to think. About we'll the make it right. Here. This is Thinking just a small it. battle. We need to help them, but this is the wrong way. It didn't look... You're literally SDing, <laughs> fucking Bowser! <laughs> <laughs> and we do notice that the cannons have stopped firing at the moment. I'll go in, and I will keep them distracted, and then you guys bring the ship in closer. We're 5k <laughs> out! It's gonna take us 20 minutes! Okay. We're gonna you die! Can't distract an entire army! <laughs> For the record, I am very against island. all this. He has marbles. <laughs> he <laughs> lost his <laughs> marbles! Yeah! <laughs> all, you is, all you see is like poofs of smoke exactly. everywhere. You're risking yourself for no good reason! Random chickens flying everywhere. <laughs> for some sense of justice that you owe to yourself. I mean, at the end of the day, we can't stop you, but it's... No, we, we can't can stop you! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking punch him! <laughs> punch him in his face! <laughs> Are you still doing this? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. No! <laughs> I have to! You can't do this! Yeah, I can't, and I need to. You're actually going to die. <laughs> no, I think Is it's there any be- way we can get there, like, quickly? Five kilometers. Uh, take a few minutes on trip at least. Oh, I just no, I'm trying to think of anything I can do so I don't. He doesn't have to go alone. Like you can't take me. With I him. cast whole person. Well, he on said you. he was using it. So did he That's use it? That's true. This yeah, is a scripted cutscene. We can't okay. do anything about this. <laughs> <laughs> skip, skip. <laughs> uh, he like shakes the stone. And he disappears. Oh, he appears in the center of the market. Well, we have to go save him. One uh, idiot. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I mean, <Aaron> and, <laughs> uh, you s- uh, now that you're now that you, Aelrendal, are up close to the fighting, you do recognize this as the person who was uh, in the crystal ball. That's weird. He doesn't look anything like my painting. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. He doesn't have all the sharp teeth and the, and the grin on his face. Is this um, you? <laughs> Are you this him? man? <laughs> have you um, seen this man? And he kind of looks at you in surprise and just like, I'm going to throw a marble at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what color? Roll a d20 for which marble, please. Oh man, watch this marble. 14. Turns him into a sheep. It actually just explodes. He's like mid-talking, he's like a challenger. <laughs> I, I challenge you! Aha, as challenger, it's, oh my god, is that a squirtle? <laughs> uh, he kind of 
So the moment it hits him, uh, it kind of does like a flashbang effect. And it doesn't blind anyone, but you notice that he goes like this and like scratches his ear. And then he he talks and he talks really loud and he's just looking really confused. You get to throw another one. But he is annoyed at you, and he will, like, kind of just toss the king aside. Oh, God. <laughs> and you know, well, you've I, done it now! How many marbles do I have again? That's 17 uh, now? I used three. Yeah, I used three, so I you threw, have 17. Okay. Throw another marble You have him. no more surprise attacks, though. Just yeah. throw marbles at him. That was your one surprise tag. Uh, Roll him on the ground, he'll step on him. Um, I probably could use the marbles as a bonus action, though. This is more of a throw. Like, I'm not really, like... And the only thing you noticed different about this guy from the painting was, or from the crystal ball, was he does not have the dragon with him. He's more handsome. <laughs> so where's uh, the dragon? Person. <laughs> Dragon's gonna attack our boat. I came here for, for a fight, turns into a but dragon. I ended up with a lover. <laughs> <laughs> That's really my character's backstory. Because I just joined the enemy and you guys have to fight me. Oh, you're the real man. Yeah. I didn't realize these were also like kind of like a watermelon. Cute yeah. tone. Yeah, I thought it was just the green. No, man, there's pink in there. Man. Yeah, it's very, much, very much watermelon. Got a little like Candy watermelon. Tell me, you never seen it? No. Huh? I, <gasps> Holy cheese, Louise! I just saw cheese. him. I Holy just saw him mother. roll it, and I just thought it was the green. I thought it was just green. Didn't really pay attention to it. Um, but we are sailing our little hearts out here, uh, <laughs> just trying okay. to get to our boy. Um, I'm gonna like move. Use your gust of wind. I'll cast gust of wind on the sail. Mm. God, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna push God. Ryan off the boat now. I'm gonna so use. I'm at 200 pounds, man. You guys, guys, I'm gonna use fist of unbroken air on the on the wind <laughs> sail. <laughs> the audio <laughs> peaks are like through the fucking roof. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah, use I'm fist of unbroken air, okay. and I cast gust of wind. Okay, so push the boat. Yeah, I will get back to you guys. Gotta go fast. Okay, so uh, this guy. Is impressed that you've decided to challenge him, and he takes out a great sword from oh, his feet on his uh, side, and he knows it is head. made of obsidian. Uh, you're fucking dead, man. <laughs> and little does he know that multi attack you. Little does he know that the diamond sword is the strongest. <laughs> you can't craft <laughs> an obsidian sword. I know my Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, he hits oh. you with the first attack. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> That'll be... Uh, um, let's see. Don't worry. We'll see if you're dead first before the next one. <laughs> uh, he deals... Uh, 18 damage with his first hit. Holy Pathetic. fuck. <laughs> uh, what's your armor cast? 14. Okay, he got, uh... 17, so he hits. <laughs> <laughs> Alien Dell's I'm a classic lesson for So uh you take nineteen damage from the second hit. Oh, Holy yeah. fucking <laughs> fucker. Why? Why? Run. What have you done? I, I have a conscious. <laughs> oh <dear> oh. god. <laughs> you fucking savage. I had eighteen like his mine's thirty six, yeah. so yeah. Oh uh, you hit with eighteen just and then one like more. A, yeah, eighteen and then nineteen. Is that just a two-hit attack? It's yeah. a multi attack, yeah, so he gets to strike twice. Yeah, but like I thought it might be more. Oh, just a great sword. An obsidian great sword. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> it's no match. Uh, You're a fucking idiot. We told you not to shot, do this. Man. <laughs> yeah, you literally got beat up. And then. And so now he's a little deaf. Cool. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you literally popped out of nowhere, threw a marble at him, and they just whacked you with a great sword. <laughs> this makes me think of the Dungeon and Dragons movie where they killed Snail. And then he sees that the king is trying movie. to crawl and then run away. That angers him that you distracted him, so he's gonna kill you. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> Your actions have consequences. This is And a then he. <laughs> oh my uh, god, you learned <laughs> that your actions have consequences! <laughs> <laughs> and then he, uh. goes up to the king. He can't hear anything, so he can't really ask him anything. 
Uh, <laughs> and then, due to his anger at the king not yielding, will slice his throat. Feel good. <laughs> so now, did he like? Did he straight just kill Alien though? Yeah, yeah, he just slayed him. Okay, he's we dead. Have ten days to recover the body and get. Time to go back to Shabbat. Yeah. 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 Right. See, so the other episode was Ariel. Ariel died. Ariel dies. dies. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel dies. <laughs> 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 Yo, we're gonna be on trending for that. Uh, okay. Uh, Yo. And then you see. Well, it's been fun. <laughs> see you later, Tony. You see the main guy uh, create a huge portal, and by now, his guards and other people have rounded everyone up and do it. And he is sending everyone through the portal. And then, uh, he teleports himself and his other soldiers back to the ship, and ships disappear. And that <laughs> is where we will end on this episode of Nat 20. <laughs>